Hello and welcome to our postcard and Divines. I'm Rachel. I'm Will. And today we're in a very wet Amsterdam. <laughs> this video is the first of our In A Day series. In a day, you say? Everyone does that. Yes, but not everyone does it beginning and ending in the UK. That's right, no comfy hotel stays for us. So we'll frolic round the flower market, get racy in the red light district, and get pretty frank with Anne. All beginning and ending in the UK and within the day. Stick around to see if we do it. But first, it all started like this. Wakey, wakey, time to get up. Step one, a 50 minute drive to Manchester Airport. Let's go. As you know, this is my audio recorder, but I just got stopped at the security because I thought it might have been a taser. <laughs> With our tasers safely in our hand luggage, through the duty free we went. It was great to see the airport pretty busy once again. I bet they were going for more than a day though. In no time at all, onto good old EasyJet we went. Here we go, all before 7 a.m. Enjoy this lovely blue sky, it's the only bit you're going to see in this video. Well, that was all pretty straightforward. Checked in, absolutely fine. Flight, lovely. Landed half an hour early. Sadly, they couldn't get any ground to crew to us, so we had to sit on the floor for 30 minutes and wait. Our captain was not happy. And then we went through passport control, massive queue. Cheers, Boris, uh, for that, because I've got a blue passport now. And after all the pages of stuff I printed out yesterday, no, I haven't got the code. Yes, I've had two, big, two jabs and a booster. Yes, I've got a QR code. What did they want? Nothing. Come on. We're off to find a train in Amsterdam. Come on. The ticket machines are very straightforward. You can select from multiple languages. It cost us 10 euros 40 each for a day return to Amsterdam Central. We've arrived at Amsterdam Central. We are on schedule. We're going to do this. Now we've got to go see a man about a boat. Come on. If you leave the station via the back exit, you come out opposite these boats. They are free of charge and run every 10 to 15 minutes. How great is that? Yup, we're going up there. The Adam Lookout opened in 2016 and has one of the best 360 degree views of Amsterdam. There is of course a gift shop, a restaurant, an observation deck, a swing, ooh, and one of the coolest lifts we've ever been in. Twenty-two floors up in style. We're now at the Adam. It's Adam, isn't it? It cost us sixteen fifty each to get up here. We've opted not to go on the swing. Um, we get two photos that we can download from that. I hope you enjoy them. We're going to paste them in, and it's empty. Tip: Come up the Adam first thing. The views are absolutely incredible, even on a cloudy day. No thanks, I've come 22 floors up, I feel no need to swing over the edge. Don't worry, there are plenty of other toys up there to play with. The views from the restaurant are incredible. Don't look down. Now we did this one, a virtual reality roller coaster all around Amsterdam. It was amazing.
we took a lovely stroll along the river back to the boat. Amsterdam Central Station is a stunning building. It opened in 1889 and sees over 192,000 passengers daily. It's 11.30am, the Adam Tower was fantastic, highly recommend. We're a bit hungry now, got up a bit early. So we're going to see if we can find some chips at a mannequin piss. A mannequin piss? Yeah, a mannequin piss chips. Ooh, that would hurt. Ugh. The old ones are the best. Everyone does it. It was too early for that malarkey. We paid three euros fifty each for a medium sized portion. I'm going to have to say it, they were amazing. Fortified on chips, into the red light district we went. Ooh, gosh, interesting. It really comes alive at night, but it's still a great visit in the day. Put some clothes on, young lady. Well, I can certainly vouch for it. Those chips were fantastic. Number one in Amsterdam. We're now in the red light district. How about that for a bit of after lunch entertainment? Not if I want to keep my chips down. It is such a beautiful city and it was fantastic to be out and about in a different country once again. That art is essential, Wills. Mannequin piss may be the best chips, but whoever came up with Chipsy King is a genius. This is the famous flower market. It's the only floating flower market in the world as it stands on houseboats. It opened in 1862 and is one of the most fragrant places to visit in Amsterdam. It smells fantastic. Sex and chips. Chips, sex and cheese. That's Amsterdam for you. We stop this video to bring you Wills's favourite shop in the whole of Amsterdam. The Christmas Palace. Yes, a shop full of plastic Christmas tat that only a Welsh Wills can get excited about. We do apologise for having a Christmas reference in nearly every video. Never fear, it's nearly April now, and if he mentions Christmas between April and September, he gets a slap. Of course, as always, we had to buy a tree decoration. What better than a windmill from Amsterdam? It goes tingling and everything. Oh my, they were selling glue wine next door. He was in heaven. The weather's come down. It was a bit too good to be true. It's raining. We've just found our Airbnb we stayed in five years ago, just around the back of the flower market. The staircase in that was insane. If we can find some old footage, we'll put it in. It wasn't a stair, it was a ladder. I'm feeling a bit Christmassy. It's a bit December weather, even though it's February. Just been in the Christmas shop. And there's Christmas socks. Stop it. This was a fun street. It was all art galleries. This one is what I can only describe as Angry Disney. The wetter frog. I know how he feels. We carried on walking up to the museum quarter. This impressive building is the Rijksmuseum, the National Museum of the Netherlands. It's dedicated to Dutch arts and history, not wet Welshmen.
The building is designed by the same guy that did the main station, and you can tell. In the same square as the Rijksmuseum, you'll find the Van Gogh Museum, the Museum of Contemporary Art and a large outdoor performance space. But not today, eh? We then started walking to Anne Frank House. Anne Frank is one of the most talked about Jewish victims of the Holocaust. Anne and her family went into hiding here in 1942, during the German occupation of the Netherlands. They hid in the secret annex at the back of this house. They managed to hide away successfully for two years. Sadly, they were discovered in 1944 and arrested and sent to concentration camps where Anne sadly died. It was in this house where Anne documented her life in hiding. This is now one of the world's best known books, The Diary of Anne Frank. What made our visit even more poignant was, the date was February the 24th, 2022. This was the day that war broke out once again in Europe with Russia's invasion of Ukraine. We walked to Dam Square to find a war protest. Since filming this video, we've been shocked and saddened by what we've seen on the news. Our thoughts and prayers are with everyone in Ukraine. Now this was a first, a shop that only sold rubber ducks. Bohemian Quaxity, genius. Look at that, they've got a Pringle. Is that your dream vending machine? Oh yeah. Time was passing and we'd been in this magnificent European capital for six hours and a European beer had not yet been drunk. This was quickly rectified. We're on a boat tour. This was lovely, for a sit down and a get out of the rain for starters. We sailed down beautiful canals and learned that the houses are so narrow as in medieval times, owners would have to pay for the metre of the facade facing the canals and the houses lean forwards to help winching up the furniture. Yes, the furniture goes in through the windows. Oh, and this is a replica of a famous restaurant in Hong Kong. Thanks, Captain! The light was fading, so it was time to experience the red light district after dark. Even the burgers have got no clothes on. Even on the coldest and wettest evening going, there is something beautiful and magical about the red light district, pancakes aside. The area has had a bad reputation in the past, but we've always found it friendly and welcoming. Even though it's blatant prostitution and sex shows everywhere, somehow the area doesn't feel seedy. There are plenty of places in the UK that are far more seedy. Because soft drugs and prostitution are not criminalised in Amsterdam, people enjoy these things honestly. And why not? Especially in this gorgeous setting. On weary legs, we started to make our way over to the grasshopper on the edge of the red light district for our last stop of the day. Just time to drink in these wonderful views one more time. The grasshopper is a former cannabis coffee shop in the city centre. 
It lights up neon green at night and has a lovely terrace overlooking the canal. It's now a beautiful restaurant serving a great selection of food and drink. Definitely time for a last pit stop for us. End of the day, we're in the Grasshopper. Love this place, been here a few times before. Got a beer, just ordered some food, and it's been a good day. Long, cold, wet day, but a good day. Uh, we've had some fantastic times. I love the, the Adam Tower, the lookout thing earlier on at the beginning, and uh, the VR roller coaster which we did up there. That was brilliant. There's a couple of places I wish we'd have gone to. I wish we'd have gone to Vondel Park, been there before. Wish we'd have gone into one of the museums, the Rags Museum or the Van Gogh. I quite fancy the Van Gogh one, but again, there wasn't time, but that's okay. And uh, the Anne Frank Hotel, uh, hotel, Museum. the Anne Frank Museum was good, but we have been there a couple of times before, but I don't think it was quite as good this time as it was last time. They've kind of over-museumed it, if that makes sense, and it's kind of lost a bit of its heart, but it was still really good. Uh, well worth a visit, definitely. I mean, it's such an incredible story. So, uh, what about you? What did you enjoy? Well, first things first, glad I washed my hair this morning because that's gone well. Um, what did I enjoy? Like you, I enjoyed the Adam Tower. It's something neither of us had done before, and I've never been on a VR roller coaster. That was amazing. We did the whole of Amsterdam in seconds. It was absolutely amazing. Um, agree with you on the Anne Frank Museum completely glad we didn't get to Vondel Park because this would have been even worse. Um, the boat trip was nice to sit down for an hour. That was amazing. I hope we've shown you that what you can do in a day and we haven't got it on the screen. Well, I don't know the answer to this yet, but we're going to kind of sum up what would have been the difference had we gone to London for the day or had we come here. And I think price wise, it's going to come out pretty similar. Could be proved wrong below right now. So um, fingers crossed. Everything's going to go well. We're going to get back home. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to show you the next bit of our day. We're going to go from here to the station, to the airport, to the flight, to the home. Everything, everything, everything. But we're going to cut back here in a minute to do cheers to the good times. And if we don't, that means something went wrong and we're somewhere else. So uh, enjoy the next bit. Like we made it then. As we say in first class mind. Cheers, Cheers to, to the, the good times. times. Van Gogh sat in a pub in Amsterdam. His mate comes in. He goes, Hey, Vinny, can I get you a pint? He goes, Nah, it's okay. I've got one here. Got one here. Because they only had what? Uh.